Hey everyone, Sarah here with SewingPartsOnline.com. Today we're gonna to learn about the walking foot. Now, we talked about the walking foot years ago, but really there's so much more to learn and now there are so many different options available with the walking foot. So stick around and I'm gonna teach you all about it and you're gonna to learn to love this awesome presser foot. Let's take a look at the anatomy of the walking foot and what about the anatomy that makes it so awesome. It's all about these built-in feed dogs. These two rows of teeth work like the feed dogs in your machine. This arm sits on the needle bar and as the needle moves up and down, the walking foot grips your fabric and assists in feeding it evenly through your machine, which is why it's also known as an even feed foot or even a dual feed foot. Here's another example of a walking foot. This one is specific to my Genomia memory craft and moving the metal bar on the back of the foot engages the feed dogs. Many walking feet come with accessories like quilting bars and extra soles. These soles either screw off or clip off like this. So you can switch from a zigzag all purpose walking foot to an open toe walking foot. You'll also find that a lot of walking feet have a slot or a hole on the back so that you can easily and quickly attach a quilting bar. You may also see feet that come with two bars and a U-shaped bar with a screw. And that works like this. Now you can use the quilting bar on both sides of the foot. To install your walking foot, remove the foot and adapter that's already on your machine. Now bring your walking foot around behind your shank, paying close attention to that arm, and position it such that it's going to fit right on top of the needle bar. Just sneak it onto the shank screw, and now all you do is tighten your screw in place. You're good to go. Now if your foot doesn't have one of those long arms for the needle bar, like my Janome Memory Craft foot, you can come up from behind it again, just like you did before, and all you have to do is wiggle it onto the screw. There's no arm to worry about. Tighten it, press the metal arm on the back to engage the feed dogs, and you're ready to sew. Now let's put this foot to work. A walking foot can sew anything from sheer tool to tricky gauze to layers of suede. It's your go-to foot for difficult, hard to feed fabric. For instance, if you've ever tried to sew laminated fabric, you know that it's near impossible to do with a standard foot. But look how easily the walking foot sews this laminated fabric. Same for like vinyl and PVC fabric, it easily feeds through. Even real leather sews nicely. You can feed fabric that has a pile like this faux fur, no problem. Same goes for slippery minky. It's notoriously difficult to sew, but see how well the walking foot handles multiple layers? Same for denim. It can easily go from one layer to multiple layers and back to one layer again. It feeds independently with clean, even stitches. You can sew fleece and flannel, satin and lace. An open toe walking foot is great for applique as well. It holds everything in place. I didn't have to use any basting spray and the heart is being appliqued on top of a typical quilt setup, top, batting, and backing. Speaking of quilting, this foot is essential for quilters. It eliminates unsightly puckers, making sure your quilt feeds evenly, all three layers. Even the open toe walking foot can be used for quilts, whether you use a straight stitch or some fun decorative stitches like this cute little leaf design. You can also use the walking foot to attach your binding or any kind of bias tape, rickrack, ribbon, anything you want. It's such a versatile, essential tool, great stitches, no puckering, and super easy to feed. That's why the walking foot is so awesome. To see the different walking feet available for your machine, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com. Come say hi to us on Facebook at facebook.com slash sewingpartsonline, Twitter at sewingparts, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, we're everywhere. If you're not sure which foot fits your machine, you can give us a call and be sure to subscribe by clicking that button below for next week's sewing video.